I did not sleep well last night. I usually get up at, at six and I go straight to the gym. I have my like routine, but I just got to the certain point in the night where I was like, I'm just gonna turn off my alarm. <laughs> and so I did sleep in just a little bit today and you know, I'm, I'm just slow moving. So we do have like a, a little, I need to run in Target. We're already here. <laughs> Need to run in Target this morning for just a few little things. And then I thought it might be nice to like just thrift a little bit this morning. I am still looking for a few like Christmas gifts. I also have um, like a little event coming up hopefully it's one of those things I'm supposed to go to New York City with some friends uh, but this time of year people get sick so easily and so I sort of never count my chickens before they're hatched sort of a thing. Hopefully that'll happen, but I I would like to find a cute little outfit. I really realized the other day, like, I don't have many, like, skirts or, like, I don't know. I just feel like my winter, like, slightly cuter wardrobe is, like, I, I'm just kind of, like, throwing on leggings and, you know, a Christmas sweater every single day, which is great, but it's one of those times where I just would love to, like, look a little cuter. So I think we're gonna, you know, hit Target and then we're gonna hit a few thrift stores this morning. And I still would like to go to the gym, you know, even though I missed it, you know, my regular time this morning, I'd still like to go to the gym, even if, even if I just end up walking a little bit, like to me, it's just, I, I just want to get moving, especially this time of year. I feel like if you don't do it purposefully, it just, <laughs> it tends not to happen. And then kind of have a chill day. My husband's at home, but he is going to play pickleball later today with some friends. So we might have like the house to ourselves and you know, I need to redo my nails. I think we're just gonna have sort of like a catch up day, like a very chill, a little bit of thrifting, a little bit of just catch up day today. So that's, that's the plan and uh, yeah. from walking through the skirts in the sweater section.
it's been a little bit. I got back this afternoon and I got a shower, cleaned myself up, put everything that I thrifted earlier in the wash. Um, just did some computer work. Just very, very chill afternoon. But it is time to make some dinner. So I am making, it's the first time this year I'll be making it, which is kind of crazy because it's usually like my go-to soup during the fall, but I just never got around to making it this fall. But it is a butternut squash apple soup and it's so, so good. The only downside is that it's it doesn't have a ton of protein. So I usually have it like with a sandwich on the side or something like it's like a great pairing or like to have a a salad on the side with it. But I was kind of thinking that while I am prepping the butternut squash, that we can have just like a little chat about vlogging specifically. <laughs> Cause like I mentioned, this is my first year doing Vlogmas. I'd say in general, I have tried to vlog, but most of my videos have been a little bit more like subject specific. Like I'm doing something specific in them or thrifting. I do a lot of thrifting obviously, but I wouldn't say that they're like, traditional vlogs like some of the people that i follow are like great vloggers and they really make you feel like you're like coming along with them on everyday life and that is <laughs> i think that's such a talent like a huge talent and a huge skill and part of me doing vlogmas is that i really wanted to sort of start learning that skill a little bit better yesterday we me and my husband went into philly and we saw the the Christmas um, village in Philly. I planned and was trying to vlog it, but it still is really difficult for me to sort of figure out how to both like enjoy and live and like live in the moment, but also incorporate vlogging into it. It's definitely like a challenge to kind of, you know, figure out how to, how to, how to vlog. <laughs> <laughs> as just a normal person. It's not something that comes naturally to me, which I don't think it necessarily comes natural to anyone. I think it's a skill that a lot of people have learned. But especially as like, I'm a, I'm an extreme introvert, I would say. Like, I really love my alone time. That's why, honestly, a lot of my vlogs you see are me on my own. To me, like vlogging where it's like just kind of me and you guys, like that's to me like really nice and intimate. When I spend time with loved ones, like I generally don't even check my phone or anything like that and that's not that's not i'm not trying to brag about that i'm just saying that like the way my brain works is that i really lock in when i'm in a social situation that's like the only way that i i can i feel like is that i just kind of lock in and it's like i'm really paying attention to you if we're having a conversation and so I think it's it's been difficult for me to figure out like how to add in this other element of vlogging, and especially yesterday at the Christmas market. Number one, I think I also have struggle when things aren't like feeling as exciting as I think I, I want them to feel in a video. Like some of the footage just wasn't as exciting. And by now there will be a, a shorts up of, of that that trip. And I think it, it was enough to be a short, but it there just wasn't enough there to make it into like a full length video, which is totally fine. But I also realized while I was there, I was like hoping to like vlog more. And I was like, I don't know if like me still learning how to vlog, if the best situation for me is to be in like, almost like the biggest crowd that I could be. I, there's no way I could have vlogged without somebody definitely, definitely like being like, well, what's going on over there sort of a thing. That's fine. Like my goal is to work myself up to that point to where that's not that big of a deal for me to like be around people who see me vlogging and you know have their own thoughts and opinions on that and me just being cool with it that's definitely like a goal for me i'm still struggling to like vlog in front of my husband <laughs> like seriously it still feels weird you know like i feel great talking to you guys now like he's he's out um playing pickleball tonight with his friends and it's kind of nice to have this like time together but then like when he's home it just feels a little bit strange to be like talking to a camera while he's like in the other room and i know that he hears me even though he 1000 percent supports me and he encourages me it feels unnatural <laughs> Not that I have a specific point. I just wanted to kind of chat with you about like what's been going on, how I felt about Vlogmas so far. And that is that like, I know a lot of my videos so far have been solo. It's not that I don't ever hang out with other people. I've been like sort of choosing to make a lot of these videos on days where like I am in a safe space, which, you know, I've got to learn to push myself outside of that comfort zone a little bit, which is definitely a goal of mine during Vlogmas. 
and I have a few things planned as far as as far as doing that. Okay, I think we are almost ready to put this in the oven. So the butternut squash goes in the oven for like 20 minutes to soften it up and then you put everything into the pot and you let that simmer for a little bit and then you use your you know blender thing <laughs> can't remember what it's called yeah the little blender thing and you just blend it all together and it makes delicious soup <laughs> Okay, now that's the, in the oven. I thought we could, I could show you what I thrifted today. Obviously we can't end without that. Welcome to the basement. It's, it looks crazy down here because it is a little crazy down here. Last winter got like halfway through painting it, but more important projects came up during the summer that I, I needed to focus on. So we are half painted, but this winter we're gonna finish it for sure anyway we are down here because some of the stuff is still drying so um definitely don't want to bring it up yet but i'll just show you everything really quick starting off with this one sorry if the lighting's a little weird down here it's obviously there's nothing a ton to see because it's just a big black sweater it's nice and oversized i actually did not realize until after i got it that it's technically a maternity sweater but it's just a big it's just a big sweater i mean there's nothing about it it's not like it's specifically bigger in you know the belly area it's just it's just a big comfy sweater so obviously we're gonna take that and next up is this like cardigan sweater or open open sweater it's like this nice rust color let me see if i can get a better there we go you can kind of see it it's like a really pretty rust color which is like one of my favorite colors i it definitely is the type of color that looks best on like my skin tone kind of nice it's like oversized but it is so so comfy like it's so super duper soft love it okay another sweater <laughs> this one i really really love i think that there's a good possibility this was like actually like homemade by somebody but it is like so cute i love it. it's got like the different types of knits it's so adorable but it's also so soft and it just like fit me really well i'm really excited to wear this it's so comfy and it's so cute and i just I'm just gushing over it because I'm pretty sure it's homemade and it's like extra special to me. I just, yeah. Now this is like a little bit of a different style than I normally get, but it fit me really well. I was like surprised and I thought it was really cute anyways, but it's like sort of a more like, like one of those Chanel inspired cardigans, but this is like super soft. So I think it would look really cute with, you know, like a little skirt and tights and it's got a little bit of like shimmer in it. I don't think you can see it really in the video because this lighting is really funky. I'm sorry. All right. So the last few things are skirts, which I talked about, like that's kind of like the main thing that I was looking for today. So this one's really cute. It's a little bit big. My thought is that like either I can wear it with a belt or it's possible that either I could like take it in a little bit or my mom is really good at taking stuff in like I do sew and I have a certain amount of skill in sewing but I feel like when it comes to like taking things in that are like a little more like tailored my mom's really good at that so I might <laughs> I might ask her to help me with a couple of these things actually I love a plaid I love a pleat all good things and we have another, they're, they're all plaid skirts. Don't be surprised, they're all plaid skirts. <laughs> but this one was really cute. It's a little more fall than it is like winter, but I figured it'll look cute with a sweater and either way, like I think it's adorable. So this one does fit well, so I think I can just throw this on, which is great. And lastly, I have this adorable, let me make sure you guys can see it right green and yellow and red plaid skirt it feels like so Christmassy and this is like more vintage um it is quite long though because I am so tall there's certain lengths of skirts that just look really bizarre on me <laughs> it sometimes it can be like a little bit of a funky thing to like find the right length so I'm kind of at this point 
um, expecting to maybe hem this or have my mom hem it for me. Um, this one I probably can hem myself because I don't really need to take it in, I don't think. I think I literally just need to, sh to shorten it. That I feel pretty confident in doing myself. But yeah, that's everything I thrifted. so excited about this. I know it looks like crazy yellow because of this lighting over my stove, but uh, I'm so excited. I think I'm going to settle in with my soup and, you know, just enjoy my dinner and catch up on some vlogmas from other people because I feel like that's what I've been wanting to do all day is watch other people's vlogmas. So I think I'm going to do that. So that's going to be the end of our little day together, but I will be back soon with another vlogmas. Mm -hmm.